what is up everybody my name is Isle and today we're back with another planet coaster video uh, I did not upload uh, for a few days because I was busy but today we're getting right back into it with a live real-time build of the station for the coaster I built in my last video Crusader um, it's it's not the smoothest I'll be honest but uh, I can work on that later right now we need a station so that people can actually ride this thing. So first I'm just going to decide where I want the entrance to be. I'm going to do this a little bit more tutorial style. Um, obviously everybody's roller coaster and station theming and everything is going to be different. But uh, I'm going to go step by step through what I'm doing. So I'm going to place the entrance over here. Exit. Actually, just had an idea. What if I flip this station around? That fits pretty nicely. Okay. Now I can place the entrance on this side and basically have the queue uh, winding down through underneath the coaster itself. That'll be kind of cool. Especially because there's just a lot of cluttery wood supports and it's kind of cool to clear some of those out and be able to walk through it. So, just put it right on. I wish you could put them on like the, the uh, other sides of it, but that for now. Exit on this side that'll go straight out. Just a simple staircase down. I will actually start with that part first. How do I want wood? Let's see, the path down here is this stone slab path. But that's not really really lend itself to stairs. Well, I guess it just makes some smooth concrete. Never mind. We'll do that. And then that should be able to join fairly simply. Very nice. And over here by the entrance to have a Q path. And I'll do the same stone slab Q to keep with that uh, medieval theme. So actually, instead of stairs right away, I have angle snap on just to the lowest setting, 11.25 for paths. I find that to be easiest most of the time unless we're trying to make circles and stuff. This can all be the stone that's on the ground. I just don't love putting the stone up in the air. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Now there are all kinds of different ways you can do different fences for Q paths and whatnot in the, in the coaster, but I am just going to leave it with the default uh, border fence, because that's easiest, and I'm 
not trying to make this complicated. So you can have this open. We're gonna do everything free for now. We might work out some base structure later, but that's for a future video, if at all. So all you do to start your station is click on building. then custom, and then that brings you to all of the different pieces that you can use to build your buildings. Walls are obviously a good start. And I'm gonna go with some stone, because that makes sense for a medieval castle type theme. So how about castle wall, that, that's good, right? We're on a little bit of a weird angle, but once you get one piece lined up, they will all align to that grid. Just go into the uh, edit building. A lot of coaster stations are more open, and you know you'd use like fence pieces as opposed to whole walls for that kind of design. But in this case, we're going for a castle, and obviously that's fortified and should be should be closed up. I'm going to use. Now I want to add a tower as a decoration in this corner, so I'm just going to basically grab some walls and build it up a ways and then decorate it. I'll place uh, some of these parapet, I think they're called, pieces up here. Oops. Going all the way around to make the top of the tower kind of flange out a little bit and give it some more depth and texture and decoration. Okay, so now I need some kind of top for 
this. And I don't necessarily want it all closed in. But, uh, I'm gonna get some of these, like, support beams and make it into a, a pergola almost. That's too thick. Oh, it's got that overhang. anything that's actually great for this purpose, but... Ooh, I like these. Yeah, I'm gonna use these and fill in this roof, just kind of, like, alternating along the grid to make it into a, a nicely shaded pergola. Structurally, is some kind of pointy roof for up on top of this tower, and just have to find one that's pretty good. I don't, I don't love the square though. There we go. Place this in. Arches over the doors. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I gotta get rid of the, the side pieces, I think. Yeah, that's too wide. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I've gone into the scenery tab and I'm going to go to props and then lights and find some nice uh, medieval looking lanterns to light up the build. of decorative doors that like don't actually operate um, that's good for like scenery that you don't want or don't need people to go in um, so I'm gonna use some windows to uh, smooth 
accept this. Cancel a bit. There you go. Simple castle uh, station for any kind of medieval themed roller coaster. Uh, I made mine for this nice wooden one. You can check out the video uh, where I made that down in the description. But for now, we're going to call it a day. Thank you for watching. Uh, feel free to leave any feedback you might have down in the comments. Let me know if you liked or disliked the video. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. I love.